What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. And here we are telling you this is what it's all about. Man, oh man, oh man. Has the market changed drastically just like that? And when you look at this, look at this. Yesterday, it was at, I believe it was at 1.09 trillion. And two days in a row, 3% drops. And then look what happened over the past day. Another 6% drop on top of that now. So that's dropped it. Man, it's getting closer to falling under a trillion dollar market again. That it just recently went back over. And uh, that's going crazy. I mean, when you look at it, look at Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin... Looks like it's going to fall under 21,000 real quickly. Ethereum is heading towards going under 1,500. I mean, the market is just falling out all of a sudden. All I got to say is hang on for the ride. It's just been crazy. So, uh, yeah, yesterday, just before I posted, or after, I, it was actually after I posted my news broadcast, this came out, right? So Bitcoin broke down from the rising wedge. Well, I showed you a graphic of that. I was, hey, check this out, guys. It's falling below where it's supposed to go. And um, made a downward move towards 22.7. And then a further dump towards 21.4. Uh, Bitcoin touched 21.4 area again. Clearly looks like a major sell-off to liquidate longs and hunt stop loss. Now Bitcoin is a major support zone to 21.2 uh, to 20,700. And if this breaks down, then we'll see BTC at 18.5 level again. Volume is decreasing. It looks like the bear is in control for now. That's what this entry says, according to this Diamond Members Group that I'm a part of, courtesy of, uh, what's that called? Team Bill Club. You know, I, I did a whole diamond. I, I haven't looked at that thing in a while. I'll see if there's anything good out of that still. But yeah, I mean, uh, Bitcoin touch there. So this is support zone is 21.2. So that's where it's at right now. It's barely in that area. It's about to fall into that real quick. Looks like looking like. But we'll find out uh, what's going on here. So regardless of what anyone says, Tornado Cash only received 10.5% of stolen funds. They created the perception that everyone who sent funds to Tornado Cash was doing something illegal or had stolen funds. Seeking privacy is not a crime. I mean, true. Uh, in the spirit and in the heart of things, true. Privacy is not a crime. And, um, I don't know, there, there got to be something to Tornado Funds in order for them to be taken down. They're, they they got to be doing something. Like, usually, you know, government entities and all that don't go after you because you only did 10.5% of stolen funds. I don't know if that's enough to really sway an entity to go after you. I mean, it could be. But, uh, if, if 90... No, almost 90% of the business is straight up legit. I mean, that's that's a pretty good, strong tracker, especially in crypto. So there got to be something more here to the story that we don't know about, right? And uh, let's see, what's this here? Eh, I'm not going to worry about that one. Let's see what else is going on in the news. Because yeah, that really caught my attention. Bitcoin breaking down. Tornado cash. Uh, let's see here. FDIC issues a cease and desist letter to five companies, including FTX, for false and misleading claims. Wow. And so the FDIC is, uh, um, I guess they're the entity in the United States that protects banks and things like that, exchanges that are under that umbrella where it protects you. So say like if a bank defaults, for, you know, they have your assets and defaults, they will pay you back up to like $250,000 or whatever, something like that. And a lot of the major banks have that kind of label of protection 
for you, right? And that's because of the government, right? So, this is an interesting uh, scenario that just came out. And so, we'll see what happens with that one. Uh, Canadian Bank regular details crypto liquidity backing rules, all right? Um, yeah, this is very interesting. See if there's anything more to this. Oh, it's a letter here. So, they believe that FTX US and its related entities are misleading. Uh, they have misleading statements, blah, 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 man. Um, yeah, so very interesting that they do. It's a long ass letter. All right, we're just going to keep it moving. What else we got going on here? Um, Japan's largest online brokerage will shut its crypto mining operations in Russia. Uh, maybe because of the Russia mess that's going on right now. Uh, crypto lender Hodlnot lays off 80% of its staff and reveals they're under investigation by the Singapore police. Well, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we talked about Hubie the other day. Oh, yeah. So because of the market situation, look at this. $550 million has been liquidated from the cryptocurrency market in the past 24 hours. And, man, that, yeah, that's what happens, though. Sometimes when you go long and you're thinking that it might be good, and next thing you know, boom, they liquidated all that position. And that's where the legendary Oracle trading here method right here this is where it's all about. War on the one minute chart, right? War on the one minute chart. The sort of volatility that's going on in the market is a big time gain when it comes to leverage trading in this market. This is where the Oracle just feast on that stuff, that activity right here. All this drop off right here, I bet he was just feasting on that. I'm just saying. So you should check that out though. I mean, uh, he does consultations. I took a consultation back in uh, December 2020. It was an early Christmas gift to myself that I got to learn how to trade. And uh, this is the only way I wanted to trade, leverage trading, all right? So um, I'm going to do a video focused on that uh, aspect. I haven't done one in a while, so we'll cover that at some point. just wanted to point that out, that this is the time right now, the market. Look at that, another 605 million has been liquidated from the cryptocurrency market in the past 24 hours. So, pretty crazy. Look at that, 26,000 Bitcoins has been taken off exchanges in the past 24 hours. So, this was a, uh, let's see, updated later on yesterday afternoon. So, pretty crazy stuff. Seems like they do these swings in the market just to wipe out some traders and stuff and things like that. You just never know. I mean, that's how crazy crypto is that they, they would do things like that to uh, swing the market a certain way, to make it go a certain way, and uh, just to wipe people out. And um, yeah, it's just that's all I got to say is always got to be ready for this sort of thing. Don't just assume oh, but just because it's going in this a certain direction that it's just going to stay that way. No, not in crypto. That's why I don't like dealing longs. I, I'll do shorts all day long, but long, I don't like long trading. So, um, plus I don't have the time to sit around, wait for long trades. Because the time that you walk away from a, a trade that you're on, you're on for set for long, they see you know, you walk away to go use the bathroom, go get something to drink, and then come back, oh shit, the market turned the other way and wipe you out. So, no thank you, I'm not into long trading. Uh, let's see here. Now, all these FTX issues going on right now. Um, FTX blocks Aztec Network Privacy DAP, calling it a high-risk mixer. Uh, some users took to Twitter to bemoan what are some calling a continuing attack on privacy in the wake of the U.S. Treasury Department's action against Tornado Cash. Um, let's see, three reasons why 
Bitcoin has dropped to 21K and the market wide sell off could be worse than you think. Aha! Tell me, what am I missing here? Let's see. Um, look at this. The market cap low in June 18th, 780 billion, right? Because we're in a 1 trillion market cap right now. Wow, that's pretty crazy when you think about it. Uh, all right. But I'm trying to figure out why is this happening? What am I missing here? Uh, leverage buyers liquidation exceeded 470 million. Okay. Got it. Margin trades were excessively bullish and destroyed. Yes. Right. And, um, yeah, but it doesn't answer the question. Why is this happening right now? That's what I'm wondering. So, it's all good though. There are signs of further turbulence ahead. The absence of Bitcoin futures premium, 470 million liquidations, and excessive stablecoin lending all point toward new yearly lows. Yes, the stablecoin situation that's been going on more and more, depegging, all, all those other algorithmic stablecoins are liquidating more and more themselves personally and uh, I guess I guess supposedly that's the reason why Bitcoin premiums are, are, in li are in liquidation in terms of trading because the absence of BTC futures premium and how about this Mount Gox dump is looming maybe people are getting afraid and getting a little bit scared here holy shit What's going on? All right. So, um, yeah. I don't know if there's anything else here. Yeah. So, here's something very interesting I wanted to share with you guys real quick. So, Dropple. All right. Those of you guys have been around crypto for a while, like I've been. I've been in crypto since 2017. So. Back in the heydays, there's a lot of lending platforms. And so a prominent big name one that came about during that time was called Dropple. All right. And it was pretty big around right? Dropple. Right. It was it was big at, during that time. And uh, it didn't really lead to anything. It didn't amount to anything. It didn't really lead to anything. And so there's three... I guess to say co-founders based in California and at that time I didn't have a YouTube channel yet at, during that time but they're based in Orange County which hey Orange County could have been down there um, could have like visited could have done something but you know I'm, I wasn't around YouTube at that time for that sort of publicity um, but yeah so these guys that ran the platform have now been sentenced, all right, to more than two years in federal prison for their cryptocurrency schemes. All right, so it caught up with them. Uh, let's see, three years in prison for another founder and two year and a half years for the third person. They conned more than 2,000 investors into buying drops, a cryptocurrency that could be used to whatever, blah, blah, blah. All right, and uh, they made false claims and trading bot profitability. Uh, they said that they could produce annual returns of 24 to 63 percent. And um, yeah, so that's what happened there. They got caught, tracked, sentenced. Now they got to do the time. And they're all based in California. Very interesting. Uh, it caught up to them, and now they got to, I guess, pay for what they did. And supposedly they didn't really do any trade or nothing. They were just kind of just living off the money, you know, and all that stuff. So that was uh, pretty funny and interesting. And I remember my drops, I think when I sold off the last of my drops or drop, it was only like $25 based off of like a 500 deposit or something like that. It was like back in the day type stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's what happened there. And they're in federal prison, so not state or nothing. Um, but yeah, so very interesting stuff. Just wanted to share with you guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the latest in the crypto news. And I'll see you in the next one.